What is up? My dog's lost in here. A uh, nasty morning pouring down rain. I've been sitting in my car for like 30 minutes waiting for the rain to pass in the dark and hasn't passed. So we're just sending it anyways, but it looks like we'll be clear here in a moment. We're about to pound the beach looking for tarpon, jack, bluefish, sharks, really anything that's chasing big pods of mold around. Today's video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. We can talk about that later. Right now, we gotta get on it. So when you can't physically see bait, one of the best things to look for is birds. I got two ospreys working really hard over here. They gotta be on top of some mullet. So we got a top water rigged up. We're gonna go try to get in the mix with these ospreys and see if maybe they're on top of the mullet, which in turn means they'll be on top of the tarpon. Let's see. Oh my God. What is happening? What is happening? Uh, I genuinely don't quite understand what's happening. I have now snapped two rods two days in a row. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel even for a little bit or for a long time, I don't break rods, like really ever. The only rods I can think of that I've broken have been like very physical user error of me snapping them in my tailgate or something like that. And I have had two rods break two consecutive days, snap straight up in the middle. Like this rod too, like look how it's shredded. Like what the frick is that? How, yeah. You know, I am 100% okay to take blame for user error because you would think if someone snaps two rods in a row, uh, it's obviously their fault, but I don't know what I did. <laughs> what the hell? What is this? All right, well, I don't know what to do because last video I snapped my uh, eight foot medium or my eight foot heavy and today I snapped my surf rod. So, uh, I'm kind of SOL on big rods to fish from the surf. So we gotta figure something out. All right, so we're back at the house after the unfortunate rod snapping incident and kind of recollecting ourselves. But it's a great time to tell you about today's sponsor, Magic Spoon, which is a company that makes cereal and they're kind of reinventing the way that it's done. It's cereal for adults. It has zero grams of sugar, only four carbs and 13 grams of protein per serving, 140 calories. You got fruity, frosted, chocolate, peanut butter, some slapping flavors and i am not gonna lie when they reached out to chelsea and i my wife who is my business manager we were very excited because we are cereal connoisseurs and it is the perfect thing to have for a quick breakfast or even like that late night snack you know when you just want to house a bowl of cereal well now you can do it and not feel like a piece of garbage about it and i'll admit i already filmed this segment and i wanted to eat more cereal so i'm refilming it again so i can have some more on top of all of that, it is keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, wheat-free, naturally flavored, totally delicious, childlike cereal for grown-ups. I just read that off the side of the box. There is a link down below where you can save $5 off on your first order of Magic Spoon. I highly recommend it. I'll leave the link down below. You can use my code that'll be right here and go get you a box of cereal and get munching because this stuff is seriously, seriously good. Couldn't recommend it more. So I appreciate you guys for supporting the channel and for Magic Spoon for sponsoring the video. This stuff is legitimately so good. All right, next morning, I was not able to get out and fish the rest of that day. It was super windy and uh, did some streaming. You, you can catch me live on Twitch, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. Anyways, I am a little disgruntled about the two rods breaking. I'm not beyond to admit when something's my mistake because it probably was for two rods to break back to back days, but I don't know what the mistake was to be honest. So I don't know. But anyways, this morning I went and picked up a brand new rod. This is a Juno Bait Custom made by a local tackle shop called Juno Bait. Something I will recommend to you guys, like ordering a few like lures and stuff online, that is awesome. Buying rods and reels, I love getting them in shop. Find a shop that you like and you like the people that work there and they're good people and stick to it and support a local business. So we're gonna rig up, hit the beach, and we'll talk more about this rod and the stats on it, but uh, we're back on the grind. 
All right, time to pound some sand. Got the uh, Saltus rigged up on here. Got the new custom rod, a one ounce swim bait to boot, and we're looking for tarpon and snook and jack and whatever else. Just watching these pelicans move down the beach, see if they'll point out some bait for us. Stepped up from the beach for a second so it's not so loud. So the rod here is actually a nine foot one piece surf rod or just a long rod. So the first rod I broke was an eight foot and then the second rod I broke was an 11 foot. So this is like kind of like a perfect in between instead of buying two new rods. Two birds stoned at once <laughs> kind of thing. It's rated for one ounce to three and a half ounce lures. I'm running 30 pound braid on here, 50 pound fluoro should be an awesome rod. It feels amazing, super well balanced. I'm excited to test. Oh, nice jack cruising right here in the surf. Saw him wave riding. So dope. We're gonna burn the swim baits equal to smash it. Oh, jacked right there. A couple big boys riding the surf. Man, I can't believe they're not smashing this bait. That was so cool, dude. Should I try burning this? There it is, on. Perfect. The burn. The burn. If that's not a big boy, Jack Craval, I will be shot. Oh man, that was too cool. Feels like a good fish. Oh man. That was too perfect. He's just holding down in the current. So all these waves are breaking and as they're like getting ready to break, I'm just seeing these giant jack ball slice through the waves, man. It is the coolest thing ever. Oh, there's a whole school of four of them just surfing, bro. The jacks are surfing. Gosh, this is a heavy fish, man. Oh, like this rod and reel is loaded up. They're just so good at turning sideways in the surf and making it impossible to move them. It's funny too, man. The second I started burning it, that jack just slobbered on the cobber. They like it fast, brother. They like it fast. Kind of trying to use the waves to my advantage, see if I can pull him when he gets caught in a wave, but my God, these fish are so strong that they don't really, they don't get caught in waves. There we go. Made some good ground on him right there. So he's past the first break and he's on top of like kind of a sandbar right now. Like I can see his head weight going across this bar. Get him across in the waves. Oh. Right here. I just want to really work on getting them out from far. Because this time of year, man, there's so many damn sharks. It's insane. I can't tell how big he is, but God, he has his rod loaded down, I'll tell you that. He's a big boy. He's a big boy.
that's a big old deck ball. <laughs> Whoo! Lay down for a second. <sighs> Thanks. What's that? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, here you go. <laughs> Beautiful jack Raval, probably about 18 to 20 pounds, right in that big dog range. Love it. Get wet and wild with them. He's gone. He's gone, brother. Uh. Oh, literally first cast in the popper, something's all over it. There it is. Oh, that is so interesting, man. I threw a freaking top water out there for 10 minutes and didn't get hit. Put on a popper, first cast, blown up on. How did you go and eat this giant popper? What are you doing, brother? Jacks are little savages. All right, not the size of the fish we're looking for. If that thing turns into a 20 pounder, I'll be right and dandy, but uh, we are just gonna keep popping.